Okay, so in this video I'm going to talk about using the change of base formula, and these are going to be just some calculator-based examples. So again, most calculators can only do a base of 10 or a base of V. So what, for example, do you do if you have something like log base 6 of 1 third? The idea is we can use this change of base formula. So the idea is uh, if we have some logarithm with some base A uh, of B, we can turn this into a new equivalent uh, ratio of logarithms, and it says we can pick any new base that we want. I've got it labeled as C. So obviously if your calculator can do base 10 or base E, you would either use base 10 or base E. Um, and then whatever the logarithm, uh, the original base was, we take our log base C of that in the denominator, um, and whatever you were evaluating the logarithm, for, whatever the original value was, that's what we throw in the numerator. So, for example, okay, so we've got log base 6 of 1 third. I'm going to turn everything into just log base 10 or logarithms, uh, just the, the, the common logarithm, since uh, that's certainly one my calculator can do. So I'm going to do log base 10 and log base 10 because, again, I can evaluate those. Whatever number um, is inside the parentheses, that's what goes in the numerator. And whatever the base was, that goes uh, in the denominator. And I kind of remember, since it's the base, it goes in the basement. It goes in the bottom part. That was always kind of how I remembered. So now I can simply evaluate this. So I'm going to do 1 uh, divided by 3. This is the order. I have to do it on my calculator. And then I'm going to hit log of that. And then I'm going to divide that by uh, my log base 10 of 6. And I'm getting this to be equal to negative point six one three one four seven one nine two. The same thing in our next example. Well, I've got log base uh, three fifths, so I'm going to use log base ten. Log base ten. Uh, our six sevenths goes in the numerator. Our three fifths goes in the denominator. So, okay, so let's see, 6 divided by 7. Um, if I do the logarithm of that, that would be the value in the numerator, negative point zero six six nine four six seven eight nine. I'm going to divide that by, so 3 fifths is going to be 0. 0.6. So I'm going to take 0. 0.6, put that inside my logarithm, hit my equal sign so it does the division, and I'm getting uh, 0.301767712. Okay, one other one here, uh, log base root 5 of 10. So, again, I'm going to use log base 10 and log base 10. Uh, again, you could use any logarithm you want, any, any logarithm your calculator can do. So the 10 goes in the numerator, the square root of 5 goes in, uh, in the denominator. Log base 10 of 10 is just 1. Uh, so, let's see. So if I take 5, the square root of that, that's roughly 2.236. I'm going to take log uh, base 10 of that, and I'm getting 0 0.34948502. So if I do 1 divided by that, so 1 divided by... I'm getting the value, I'm getting this to be roughly equal to... 2.86135311.6. Okay, so again, some calculators, some scientific calculators now, or even programmed, you can put any old base in there that you want, but um, a lot of them still are only programmed to do the natural logarithm and log base 10, uh, the common logarithm. So it's useful to know this change of base formula if you actually want to get some sort of decimal approximation.